Hey there Titans, in this video I'll show you how to customize your document view using Lightning Components. Alright, so what we have here is a simple document um, with a signature and two dynamic inputs. And I've created it using the form Titan add-in for Word, so just a simple template with um, mapping to the opportunity name. And we have two dynamic fields and a signature. And then I just simply upload it to the doc site. Um, then I configure the Salesforce object and I allow Apex process builder and flow. We will need the FT API key and the FT form hash from here later on. And I've configured the first signer. Um, we will override this. But um, this is just simple condition opportunity ID equals record ID. And I map the fields from the account that's on the opportunity. Um, lastly, I created a push for the file. Once um, the document is fully signed, we will send it over here. So let me show you what my component does. So what it will do essentially is create a button. Once the user clicks it, it will get the custom view that we configured in the uh, component. So let's take a look at our component. So first thing we need to know is the JSON structure. So it's very simple. It's a list of signers and signer has record ID, last name, first name, and an email. So if you want to have tracking um, on your other signers, your dyna dynamic signers, you would want to pass in the record ID. And then it's the record ID of the main object, in our instance, the opportunity, the form hash, the API key, and then a bunch of configurations, which is allow users config which will allow the user to configure users, the viewer to configure users, allow upload new document to replace the document that's there, um, allow send, which will allow, allow them after editing the document to send it for a signature, and allow PDF download and allow docs download, which will allow them to download the document in both ways, and the URL expiration in minutes, um, for how long the view will be available to the user. So in our instance here in the JSON is 15 minutes. All right, um, the way I did it, and you can do it however you like, I collected all the allows, all the Booleans from the design, which means whenever we edit the page and we throw in the component, custom component, the user will be able to define these right off the bat. So we have all the allow user config and allow upload and FT form hash all configured from the component. Um, so we have user configurability and what I've built inside the component is the list of signers, which the list of signers in my instance, I'm just grabbing them from the opportunity contact role. So I've created a simple class that contains my uh, get contact roles, which will get whatever is on the opportunity and um, encapsulating the get advanced signature URL JSON, which is coming from the form Titan package for Salesforce. And we're just passing in the um, JSON, the JSON string to the method. And what the form Titan will return to us is the preview URL with all the configurations in it. All right, so let's just take a look at our class over here. So this is just the install packages, the form Titan package, and we can see what's available to us from the uh, from the package. So we can see a bunch of methods. And here, what we're using is the get advanced signature URL JSON that receives a JSON string, and also we can see all the properties over here. All right, wonderful. Um, let's take a look at our controller. So control, very simple, just building the JSON structure, grabbing the ID from the has record ID. And what we're doing first is calling to get contact roles from our controller, passing in the record ID. Then we're getting a list of contact roles. We're building these into a JSON object, adding it to the uh, signers array. And next thing is calling the get advanced signature URL JSON. All these are done via the helper. Very simple a method to call both of them. And um, 
lastly, what we're getting is our result from Titan, which is a, a JSON. And in the JSON, we're looking for the document view URL. And once we get that, I'm just setting a simple toast and setting a little timeout so we can see the toast and then it will basically redirect us to the view. All right, so let's take a look and see how this does. Let's head back to our, so I configured everything here to be true and basically will allow us to download, upload, and we have 30 minutes of expiration and let's set the upload to false. And we'll save this. Let's head back to our form, to our um, opportunity record. And we'll click the button. Let's see how we get. All right, here is our custom view. And we got two users since this opportunity has two contact roles, Edna Frank and Andy Young. And what we can do here is move everything around, completely customize it. Since we did, we allowed everything aside from the upload, we can download it and change it. And if we would have allowed the upload, you can re-upload the changes. So let's fix this around. And just note that the first, first signer will um, be dictated from the order of it was received in Titan. So Andy Young was first in the JSON, and this is why he gets to be first and he will need to be signing first and then Edna Frank will get the signature. And obviously we can change this around. So Edna Frank, Edna Frank will be first. And let's do this and we'll add a signature. And now the only thing we need to do is hit send. And obviously there is a lot of stuff you can change here. You can go to the settings of, the, of every element and change them around. So the viewer has a lot of power. We will hit send and now we're, we will get the email for our signature. And here is our first signer. Here it is. Let's sign. This is Adna Frank. These are assigned to Andy and this is why they're grayed out. So we'll click finish sign. Now Andy will get will get email. So they're both redirected here, but you can see Andy Young. We'll click on the doc and we'll fill in the fields and we'll hit sign. And obviously you can scribble whatever you want in here and hit finish sign. And now the document will be pushed to Salesforce. Um, one thing to notice is that all these configurations can be, can be made from the builder. So let's say if I head to, um, to document access and I click custom view, so you can allow all these stuff directly from there. And when, when you get the preview URL from our package, then these will be enabled. One thing to notice if you configure any of these and then you send, um, and then you send a JSON, they will be overridden from the JSON. But if, let's say, allow download PDF will not be in the JSON, then we'll be using the default, whatever you uh, configured over here. So this is an important thing to know. Let's just take a look at our final product here. Let's refresh our opportunity. And let's take a look at the attachment. And here is my signed form. And this is how it's done.